Welcome back to Ume no To, Plum Island. So today, two things I want to talk about are fake walls and um, designs. So um, in the new Animal Crossing New Horizons, um, there are a lot of buildings and shops that we don't have um, that I believe were in the previous versions of the game, like New Leaf. Um, and they're shops that people actually really want, I think, like bookstores and cafes. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, uh, KK Slider had a jazz club or something like that. Um, at least so I've heard. So what we do have in New Horizons are these fake walls um and there are two kinds so one is this one right here uh which is called a city wall and there's another one back here which is the castle wall uh so let's see if i can get you a good shot here maybe not <laughs> uh let's see if we stand here yeah so there we go so um, the purpose of these fake walls are to kind of give you, um, a cityscape atmosphere. You can use them both in your house and outside of your house, obviously. Um, so I use the castle walls in the back here. Um, so I decided to build up the area where my tailor and the general store are and i wanted to create this kind of um european kind of market atmosphere um so kind of like a flower market and so on and i uh, will explore this area a little bit more um in another video so it really um i feel like it really did add to the atmosphere putting the castle walls here um otherwise we would just have the kind of bare um ground showing in the background but um the castle walls really did finish it off quite nice and i'm quite happy with it um however they're kind of expensive if i remember correctly i think they're like twenty five thousand bells or so um and the same with the city, um, the city walls. So, uh, both walls, if you take them to the llama, you can remake them. Um, and I believe there's six to eight different colors and designs. Um, so what a lot of people are doing with these fake walls is they are using them to make the shops that we don't have in this version of the game. Um, so in my case, I made a sweet shop, um, as you can see with the cake and the ice cream here. Um, you don't have to build them up next to land. I did it um, that way just to make it easier um, to lay the walls out, basically. So they, they don't match up so well at the corners. Um, so I ended up putting these decorative um pillars there to kind of join them at the corners and even then um you can kind of see that it's sticking out here um i could probably move these pillars to stick out a little bit to make it more coherent and congruent but um yeah so that's kind of like what i have going on here and they are nice i really do like them um they light up at night, so they they have lights. Um, and then another thing that I did um, to make this sweet shop was I used a bunch of simple panels back here um, to make a back wall rather than just having this uh, bare ground look, uh, which is not so noticeable from the side. So I've kind of just left that the way it is. Um, I guess if you're, you know, really picky, you could probably, um, you know, add to that if you wanted to. Um, the flooring is also my design. It's not anything, um, 
you know, amazing or groundbreaking, but um, opposed to the brick pattern that you get with the um, landscaping design, um, putting the tile design um, in the sweet shop really just brought it together um, and just really finished it off quite nice. So it really changed the whole atmosphere of the sweet shop. Um, so this is one type of shop that I did using these fake walls. And then um, I did use the My Design uh, to get this pattern on the simple pattern, or I'm sorry, the simple panels. Uh, so we'll talk about the design a little bit more um, in a moment. And just kind of running across here. So we'll take another tour of the rest of the island on uh, at a later date. Um, so again, I made this kind of argyle pattern for the floor um, to make a kind of bookstore. And I'm not quite finished with this yet. Um, but again, I used the city walls. And in this case, I used yellow ones. And then... Um, the kind of uh, designer pillars or decorative pillars, sorry, decorative pillars um, to finish them off at the corners. And again, it just does not line up quite right. Um, so something that um, I've seen and heard about other players doing is using these walls in front of their villagers' houses um, to make, the villagers house into a shop so um i've seen where they put these um kind of lit light up cases um display cases in front of the villagers house and then they made a bookstore in front of the villagers house so it's a little bit uh sad the villager is living in a bookstore i guess um but yeah those are two things players are doing um, in order to have shops that basically they did not um, implement in this version of Animal Crossing. So again, just putting the city or castle walls in front of um, the house or something like these display cases. So um, those are my two shops that I made. And then again, uh, this one has like Oops, has lights as well. So I, I kind of like that. Um, so we'll explore all of this another time. And then um, talking about the um, design. So um, actually, I've kind of come to resident information too soon, uh, which is the closest DIY station um, at the moment. Um, so before we go in there, um, if you go to your tailor, there are three, there's triplets, right? Um, hedgehog sisters. So if you go in here and in the back, um, one of the sisters is always sewing. And at first she doesn't talk to you. Um, but if you... If, if you're persistent and you talk to her like every day or try talking to her every day, I forget how long it takes, but eventually she starts talking to you and then she starts giving you patterns. So um, every time you come in here, she's actually sewing one of the patterns that um, she gives you. Um, so you just keep coming in here, keep talking to her. Um, she'll keep giving you patterns until... Um, the point when she just is making small talk with you and then you know like there aren't any more patterns um, to be gotten and we're gonna have a look at that in a moment here um, so going back to um, the closest uh, DIY station uh, which is in the residential uh, services building for me at the moment anyway um, so we're gonna do a remake and I already made a, a wood bed, a wood single bed. And when you do the remake, you can change the color here. 
and sometimes you can change the um, design and then there's two so they have the pattern you can choose a pattern or you can do the my design um, so I could choose any of these um, if I want to and it'll make that um, but we're gonna go to the pattern and these are all the patterns that I got from the hedgehog sister so um, there are so many and previously I talked about the um, curtain partition um, and how I just left it white because there were too many choices so um, just gonna flip through really quick so um, yeah there's too many choices and there aren't really a lot of choices that would kind of overlap with um, different designs in terms of the wallpaper so I mean like yeah pink with some polka dots it could go with many different things but um, I would probably have to change the curtain design quite often and um, I'm not really interested in doing that so um, I just decided to leave that curtain partition white um, but yeah as you can see there's like what one two three four five six seven eight nine like ten or eleven different um you know screens of patterns here so i believe this is like the first um one that becomes available at least uh that's what i recall um so you kind of start out with this and then there's dots stripes checks two uh two screens of checks actually um traditional so this is like traditional japanese patterns um and then this is other traditional type patterns so like there's a native american um i don't know i think this might be like kind of nordic or swedish and kind of same around here not sure about this one <laughs> Uh, maybe some, yeah, also, I don't know, Native American, Aztec, Hawaiian, and Paisley, so on. So, like that, and then some retro patterns, um, natural, so clovers and tulips and things like that. Um, what they call a toy pattern, so maybe novelty-ish. Um, and then a cool, like kind of cool style here and then the last one was variety so those are the patterns that um again you can get from the hedgehog sister um you just have to be persistent and constantly talk to her and you'll be able to get all those patterns and um it really is nice to have um a lot of choices so um, that's it today for walls and designs and thanks again for watching. See you next time.